Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. And as you see, I have moved into this new space, and um, I'll do videos sometimes from here and sometimes from my other <laughs> location. And um, in this video, we are going to have a look at the video mic NGG from Rode. And as you know, I have used a lot of Rode microphones. I'm using the Wireless Go when I am recording this thing as well. And um, it is just a new shotgun microphone for your camera. And I'm going to test this out with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, camera 4K and see if this little thing here will make my cinema camera amazing. Or am I better sticking with something else? Um, I'm very interested in trying this thing out. So I'm going to do some general test going to compare it with the video mic. Um, no, I'm going to compare it with the wireless go, which I am using right now. And also I'm going to compare it with some of my other microphones from Rode. Um, and it's supposedly to be very good. So. First off, let's just have a look at what is inside the box. In the box, we have the microphone, we have a camera mount, we have a foam windshield, and one cable and one USB-C Type-C cable. Okay, so let's just have a look here at the microphone. And um, of course, this is uh, metal. Uh, the foam is a standard road foam. And um, it has some weight to it. And it, actually, if you look at the pictures on the box here, here at the side, of this young lady here doing some kind of a podcast or something, um, it actually looks a little smaller in real life. Um, it looks basically like a like the NGT2 I have that looks very similar to that just smaller and it has some pretty cool features that we will go over in just a second here um, so I thought we would just again uh, do a test where we try out using this uh, for a little short thing where we record all the sounds with the microphone and we're not going to do anything in post. And um, again, hopefully this will make my Pocket Cinema Camera 4K be amazing. Also, one thing to keep in mind that there's a dial here in the back where you can dial the gain from 0 to 15. And, and of course, then we have a on and off screen button and a minus db and also you can cut out some of the high frequencies right here but we're going to go a little more into that in this video so let's uh, get on with the footage okay so here we have the first test on the pocket camera 4k it is as you might see, I'm in my car and I have the microphone mounted just on top of the camera and it is mm, like 30, 35 uh, centimeters away from my mouth. And, um, and in this test, I'm just testing out the basic settings. So on the microphone, the settings are on 10 and on the camera itself, the input level is on 25%. And this is just how this sounds. So I'll give you a tongue twister. Betsy bought a bit of butter, but the butter was too bitter. So Betsy bought a better bit of butter. Wow, what a tongue twister. Um, that's the first test. Um, next up is... Um, I want to test this out with the wireless uh, or the Rode Wireless Go and um, we'll test that up next time. 
And now I am testing out the Rode Wireless Go, which is this portable microphone or lavalier system mic. You can clip wherever you want it. And um, of course, it's meant to be clipped somewhere and then just capture your audio. But we are comparing this with the Rode NTT video mic. So this is how this sounds very close to my mouth. And if I'm just holding this off camera, the same place as where the video mic NTG are, it sounds like this. And I'll give you a tongue twister. 2-1 was a racehorse. 1-2-1-1 race, 2-1-1-1-2. Hopefully that made sense. And now I'm going to shift over to the video mic. And here we are back with the NTG video mic and this is how that sounds i'll give you a tongue twister again two one was a racehorse two one 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 race two one 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 two hopefully that gives sense and if i'm taking off the mic sorry for the noise if i take off the mic and move it a bit closer it's around the same place as the wireless it sounds like so and hopefully the, the sound is good enough. And um, again, if I'm doing anything in post, it will be down here below written. So check out that. Again, tongue twister. 2-1 was a racehorse. 2-1-1-1 race. 2-1-1-1-2. Okay, let's go to the next test. So one of the other great features the microphone have is that with the input, you are able to record your voice into... A cell phone and the audio right now is the recording from my cell phone and you don't have to do anything you can just plug it right into your your phone and you can start recording this is just a simple voice recording app and the microphone itself will recognize the device and it's just to hit record so this is the test of the recording straight into my phone so here's a tongue twister for you. Betsy bought a bit of butter, but the butter was too bitter. So Betsy bought a better bit of butter. So again, if you do not have the chance to record directly into the camera, you can record the audio into your phone and then sync it in post. Okay, and in this test, we are testing out minus 20 dB function in the microphone. And what this does is that it will record the volume minus 20 dB in one of the audio channels so that you in post can use that. If your audio was way overblown, like it probably were right about there. Okay, and now I just want to show you a little bit of a hack I did. So with combining the Rode Wireless Go together with the video mic NTD, we have now a portable microphone set up and we can put the microphone wherever we want in our shot, making it very close to the mouth. And um, this is a perfect solution for making a or putting this on a boom pole so you can boom your audio pretty easy and uh, doing it wireless which is very cool i think so just a idea of what you can do with these two products which is pretty cool so let's go to the next test so this is just a quick test with the rode ntg and this is in the blackmagic pocket cinema camera 4k um with the gain in the camera turned all the way down to zero and the microphone's gain turned all the way up to 15. So let's have a look at how that sounds. And now we're just testing out another thing here at the Rode NTG video mic. Um, and on this thing, it is the pocket camera with the internal gain set to 22%. And on the Rode gain, it is set to 10 and this is just how that sounds. Okay, and this is just a quick test again with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and the Rode NTG Video Mic. And this time the 
internal gain on the pocket camera is on 50 and the internal on the or the gain control from the knob on the road is on 5% and this is just how that sounds okay and this is just a quick test with the gain on the camera turned all the way up to a hundred percent on the pocket camera and on two percent on the road gain dial and this is just how that sounds i'm sure you can hear that it's a bit more noisy so here i am back in the studio uh, testing out the road ngd microphone and i just wanted to do a comparison of using the wireless go in my live setup so now i am on my the wireless and i'm just going to go over here to the video mic here instead um and the way this setup is uh, actually working is that i have a switcher here which is the black magic atom switcher and the audio is going now from the why not now from the um, road entity right here and now i'm going to the other setup which is the wireless and it's just to give you a little bit of a comparison um, how that actually sound so betty bought a bit of butter but the butter was too bitter so betty bought a better bit of butter and now I am back to using the NTG video mic. And I'll give you the tongue twister for that as well. Betsy bought a bit of butter, but the butter was too bitter. So Betsy bought a better bit of butter. So now you can compare those two. And of course, if I did anything, you can look down here somewhere and I will write what I have done in post. Let's go to the next test. Also, you have the ability to use the video mic NTG as a USB microphone that you can plug directly into your computer. And we'll have a look at that in just one second. Uh, a very neat feature, by the way, when you are doing that, is that since you're not using the mic, uh, the jack part of the microphone, you can now use your headphones to monitor the audio directly from the microphone, which is a very nice feature. So let's have a look at how this sounds when we're using DaVinci Resolve. So this is how it sounds when you do record the audio directly into the DaVinci Resolve or any other editing program, by the way, using the USB microphone. And this is pretty helpful if you want to do some kind of a voiceover, uh, stuff like that. And it is pretty easy to set up as well i did do a video about how to set it up you can have a look at that here and um, well that is the basic of this test with the road wireless no, with the road ntt video mic pro it is really a long name hmm. anyway let's go back to the video Okay, and, and the Rode microphone also has some other pretty neat and nice features. For instance, the cable included is a very special kind of cable. It's pretty bendy and will actually keep the place when you bend it. So it's never in the way when you use it on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, which is a very good thing. Also, the shock mount is pretty good on the microphone. It does what it's supposed to do. It removes all these bumps from your fingers when you're handling the camera. It's very lovely. And there is an additional lovely feature on this, the ability to move the microphone either backwards or forward, depending on the camera you're using. So you don't get that nasty shot of the microphone in your shot if you're shooting on a wide lens. That is very well thought out by road and it's again a super lovely feature <laughs> and again i just think it's very well thought out so now i've been running to a lot of different tests using the road video mic ntg and i must say of all the video mics that has ever been produced by road this is by far the best they have ever done in video mics so 
if you are going to ask me if I want to recommend using this microphone, the very simple answer is absolutely. It is a very nice and very good microphone. It has a good sound. It, uh, it has so many features. And for the price point of $300, I do believe that is the price, this is an amazing deal. So, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.